finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, look how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals. But they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate. John's. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. And... Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. John Marsh? Sometimes. I'm Jake. A friend from Blackwater hired me to get you. Hey, my friend. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front.
you ain't gonna find 30 horses in all new Austin. Biggest thing to happen at Coop's place was the week on the bed rack. Be on the spur now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Come on! Female company, you can do a lot worse than armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a freaking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some black wall big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. No black border, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those highfalutin' big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither.
fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and stole one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you wind him up like a crop. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. Listen, mister, this here is what left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rolled in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I'm coming to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. You never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! I... I... Imp
implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple of days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a f with the worst band in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See what I have? I have. kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we waste on the doctor's bill. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time... Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Thank <laughs> you. 